y'all. I am back out in your school garden. It's been a little while. So I'm gonna show you around, see what's happening. You can probably already see in the background, we got a lot of blooms. We have a lot of food. So the garden's going really well. Let's look around. Okay, looking out into the garden, you may notice a few things that are different. We have bird feeders up in the back. We put up our hoop house poles. I'll explain that in a little. And some things are the same. We still have our trusty hole. All right, let's go see some of our plants. All right, our biggest, baddest plant right now is this. This is our sugar snap peas. And there are a lot of peas on here, so let's take a look. All right, do you spot any peas? I see a bunch. Take a look there, there, over here. We got them there, there. They're all over. Let's get a little closer. So this is what one of our sugar snap peas looks like. We planted these from seeds just a couple months ago. So we've been harvesting these and having something good to snack on. I'm gonna grab one. I cracked open our pea pods. You can see what it looks like on the inside. You can eat the whole pod of these, but this is one pea. And they're really good. They're really sweet. Past our peas, we have our garlic. Now the garlic is starting to do something really cool. It is starting to produce these. Now this should look a little bit different than the leaves because this is a garlic scape. So this is what would become a garlic flower, but what we do is we take it off and you can eat this and turn it into some delicious food like pesto or garlicky butter and that makes our garlic bulbs grow bigger. And other good news, all of our summer plants are in. So some of my favorite foods to eat are back in the garden. I wonder if they're some of your favorites too. This is right next to our peas and it is a tomato plant. So it is doing really well over here. It's got a lot of sun, a lot of water. We have a tiny baby tomato. It's gonna hopefully grow up bigger and turn red, be ready to eat. In the back of our garden, we have a whole bed dedicated to sweet potatoes. So sweet potatoes are tubers. They grow under the ground, but we can see their leaves poking up here. So these will stretch down, grow a lot of potatoes, and in the fall, we'll get to dig them up. Our pollinator bed in the garden is going so well. We have the blue corn flowers, these strawberry sunbursts, I think, and this big one is our snapdragon, starting to spill some petals even onto the ground. And finally, something pretty cool happening in this bed. In the fall, we had a class that put out this. Now you can't really tell from looking at this, but this is an old pumpkin. It's kind of dry and squishy, but all of the pumpkin seeds fell out and started up a pumpkin patch. And we have all these big pumpkin plants growing. Hopefully we'll have some pumpkins in the fall. In this bed, we also have little tiny tomato plants that started growing all on their own. So I'm not really sure where they came from, but I'm gonna let them grow and see what kind of tomatoes we get. Somehow we also got little bitty basil. All right, friends, that is our garden. It's looking awesome. There is still more that's gonna happen, more that's gonna change throughout the summer. So I can't wait for you to come back in the fall and see all of these little plants when they're so huge and making so much food for us. It'll be really cool. We'll get to dig up sweet potatoes, harvest tomatoes, get some eggplant, try some different herbs. So I'm really excited for all the stuff we'll be able to do in the fall. And keep thinking about your plants. Keep thinking about gardening. Do you have any seeds at home you could try to grow? There's always so much you can do. Even if you don't have a big space like this, you can always grow food. All right, friends. See you soon. Bye.